Hello, I'm County Councillor James Gibson Watt and I'm leader of Powys County Council. And I would like today to give you an update on the Council's budget position and its response to the severe pressures that we're all facing. The result of the national cost of living crisis and ever increasing costs on us all is having an impact on every household, business and public body across the United Kingdom. In response to this, we have recently launched an information hub on our public website about cost of living support that is available to you and all other Powys residents. If you haven't already, I would encourage you to take a good look at this. Please tell your neighbours and family and friends about this as everyone, absolutely everyone, whatever their walk in life, is feeling the impact of these pressures. We've been reviewing our spending plans as a council and while it is too early to discuss detail, it is clear that all public services in Paris should brace themselves for a harsh financial future, as we all have to brace ourselves for that future. Gloomy messages about the country's financial state have been with us since, well actually before Russia's invasion of Ukraine, and that has had an immediate impact on world economies. The harsh reality is the picture is not going to get any better and this is likely to remain the case for many years. Powys, like all other local authorities in Wales, has already felt the chilling impact of the cost of living crisis, but I'm afraid it will get worse before it gets better. And we do face some very difficult public service choices. The government's comprehensive spending review has been pushed back to mid-November. That's just a few days' time now but it is likely that public spending will be substantially cut and that will have serious implications for all public authorities in Wales. We of course have faced budget reductions in the past and have, to have had to reduce the overall level of spending substantially, but it's very clear that the scale of the pressures facing the council mean we will have to be more radical than we ever have been before and we have to reset the level of public service we provide to a level that we actually can fund. If we are to maintain realistic service delivery in the face of these continuing and deep budget pressures, we must fundamentally change the way we work, challenge the number and scale of services we provide. That challenge has to include reviewing those areas where we spend the most money and have the greatest number of assets, schools, social care facilities, corporate buildings, council buildings, including, I'm afraid, our leisure and library buildings. The discussions that we have with you and our communities will not be easy, but we have to put the public services in this county on a firm, sound financial footing for the future, so that they are resilient for our children and grandchildren to come. Tinkering around the edges, as perhaps has been done a bit too much in the past, simply is not going to be enough. We need to reset the public service system in Paris. So, it's clear, the level of public service provided in the past will not be sustainable in the future, and it really must change. It has to be smaller, more agile, more efficient, much more efficient, and we need to, to do with far fewer resources. Our challenge is to work with you and our communities and partners to reset the public services in this county and put them on a sound footing for the future. As soon as we have any clear proposals, we will begin that work.